Hey guys, welcome to an academy. This is our fifth video in this course, and in this video, we will learn how to make decisions in JavaScript. Okay, so let's start. So we can use different type of statements, like like we can use the if else statement and the switch statement to use or to make the decisions in JavaScript. For example, we will write if okay if and the condition okay so if a particular condition is true then write a particular amount of code else if that condition is not true then perform that particular amount of code okay so we can you know uh, separate the code and we can only perform the particular code for a specific condition right so we can use this type of conditions and this type of decisions with the help of if else and switch statements also if we want to choose between different statements we will we can simply use the if else ladder for example if the first condition is true then perform this else if the second condition is true then perform this else if the third condition is true then perform this and else if none of them is true then you should perform this operation right so in this way we can divide the code and we can perform a particular operation for each conditions in the same way switch condition is very much important if you use the multiple cases right and it's it uh, specifically use the case to provide the particular code for different conditions right so we will see both of them in this lecture right but before that let us see few comparisons like if something is less than if let's say a number is less than the other number you will use the symbol in the same way if a number is greater than then we will use the greater than symbol if it's less than or equal to then we will use the symbol in the same way if it's greater than or equal to then we will use the greater than equal to symbol now if two values are are same or similar or equal we will use the equal sign right we will use equal sign two times right this is the sign for equal to and if we simply use one sign it's a sign for assignment right it simply assign a value and when you use two times equals it it is the identical value and it means that you are uh, you are uh, comparing between the values and in the same way if something is not equals to and this is the sign for not equals to right so how can we compare using these things okay so these symbols so let us say i want my program to print that if the temperature of my room is less than 25 degree right less than or equals to 25 degree it should print that it's too cold right and if the temperature is greater than equals to 25 degree we can say another program should print that the temp that the temperature is too hot right so for that as you can see here if the user write 25 it will show that the temperature is too hot or the temperature if the temperature is less than 25 it, that condition will be true and it will go with the first condition in the same way if the temperature is greater than greater than 25 it will go for the other condition so in this way we can apply this condition and we can make our program so let us see an example without wasting our time here is our javascript example in my head section i use a script tag and i have a function here without any parameter right you can see here this is a function without any parameter and the name of my function is call name right the name of the function is call name now here I have a button and if I click on that button we have used the on click event and if I click on that button it should call this function right this is a very simple thing and we have understood it in our previous lecture now in my function let's understand the function now in my function we have used a variable name okay it's an empty variable now in that variable we have allotted a value which we will which the user will write using the prompt now what what is this as soon as the user will click on the button it will ask for a prompt right and whatever the value the user will write that value will be assigned to the variable name that's why i have taken a variable uh, empty variable name and again after prompting and whatever the value as we know that we can write a value in the prompt window we will write a value in our prompt window and whatever the value we will write that value will be allotted to the name variable after that we have our conditions right this is the most important part here the condition are saying that if the name or the name which is or the prompt or the name whatever the user will write in the prompt window that name 
is equals to dev okay that name is equals to dev then i should that the window should alert hello friend right if the name whatever the user will write if that name is equals to dev right it's a string that's why i used it in the in quotation marks right so if the uh, information that is uh, provided by the user is equals to the dev right this this code should be executed that means that we should alert hello friend and else if else means when this condition is not true right so else if this condition is not true it should print sorry i don't know you right this is a very simple example of the conditions okay so what we have done we have just taken a function in that function i used the empty variable and in that variable i have allotted the value which will be given by the user using the prompt window right here is our prompt window so as soon as the user clicks on the button it will it will ask for a prompt window and it will uh, it will ask for your name here you can see what's your name the prompt window will ask for the name and the user will write the name now if the return name is equals to dev it should alert hello friend and if it's not equals to dev then it should print sorry i don't know you and here you can see the output of the code now as soon as i click here on the button it should it, uh, the this window will be appeared okay and after that here you can see i have written dev right so i'll return dev here first time and press ok and it will show hello friend now let's try to run this program again and this time i'll write another name i'll click this i'll click the button right here i'll click the button and uh, in the prompt window i'll use the name john okay this time i'm not gonna use dev this time i'm using john and here it should print sorry i don't know you right so it's performing different operations or different code for different conditions right so in this way we can use if and else so let us see an ex another example very quickly these are a script right and this is my function i'm again using the same name for the function and we have the button we have the on click call name right now i have the variable name i'm again using the prompt like we like we did previously now if, I have, if uh, now if the name is equals to dev it should print hello friend if the name is equals to john it should print hello john if the day if the name is equals to randeep it should print hello buddy and if none of them is true it should print sorry i don't know you right so in this case we can apply for different condition and we can write code for different condition using if else else if statements right so here you can see if i write dev it will show hello friend now if i write john it will alert hello john in the same way if i write randeep it will say hello buddy and if i write not none of the name above it will say sorry i don't know you right so in this way we can use this this type of function and this type of if else ladder using the conditions in our javascript right now here is our second type which a second statement which is the switch statement and we can also perform all that action using the switch statement too it uses a series of comparison right it compare between different cases so there are different cases let's say case one case two case three or case or particular condition right and it compare between all the cases after every code we use a break so that the so that if a condition is so that uh, let's if i if we if we are able if the code is able to run a particular condition okay the code will stop and will not compare it further with the other condition that's why we use break okay so a break will stop the program after one comparison and that's what we want right so sometimes we use break if we want it to compare with only one condition and sometimes we want it to compare with all the condition and for and for that type of uh, conditions we do not use break okay so let us see the syntax of using switch now here we will write the switch after that we will write the name of the variable and we will have a curly bracket opening and closing curly brackets here i will use case i'll write case and after that whatever the condition first is and i'll write the code here and after that i'll use break in the same way i'll use a case which will be the second condition i'll write the code for it i use break 
and in this way I can use as many condition as many cases as I want and I can simply use the code and the break after that I can also use the default I, if I want to use the default I can use it that means if none of the conditions or none of the cases are true it should print or it should do this type or it, it should print or it should perform this code which we will write in the default part right so what's the syntax simply we will use a switch in that brackets we will write the variable name and we will write different code for different cases right and we will use the default in the end if none of the condition is true we can also if we don't want to use default we can simply reject default now here is an example of switch this is my script okay here you can see I have a function which is switch learn okay the name of my function is switch learn and here in the body text I have used on load that means as soon as the page load this function will run okay I have not used any parameters as you can see now here is the variable username okay the name of the variable username okay you can take any name it will prompt what which country would you like to visit okay which country would you like to visit so whatever the value which will be given by the user that value will be allotted to our variable username right after that we will use a switch statement and the variable name okay so let's say if I have written India then switch and here the value will be India and the first condition will be true and it will write this code for example let us try it again so whatever the value the user will write that will be allotted to our variable username after that we have started our switch statement and here we have used that variable okay so because we are going to check the condition with the with the variable so whatever variable which is the reason for checking the conditions we will use that variable here in our switch statement so now we want to check what is the value in the username right now the case first if the value is India now if the case is India we will use the case and in the, in the quotation mark we will use India so if someone dies someone write India in the prompt or France in the prompt it will alert take me also and after that we used break why break because we have found our value and we not we don't want it to alert all all the other code too right this code will not be executed if we will use break here the program will stop here in the same way if someone write Japan or Philippines this code will be shown that means great have fun and if it writes North Korea it will write oh good luck and it will stop the program now if the user do not write any of the above countries it will show default message that is alert I am sure you will have a great time okay so in this way we can use our switch statement right so here you can again understand this as whatever the value that a user will write in the prompt that will will be assigned to our username now as we want to check the condition in our username because uh, the country will the value of the country or the whatever the country that the user will write that value will be here in our username now according to the syntax that we have seen here we just have to write the name of the variable in which we want to check the conditions right so here we want to check the conditions in the name of the country right so we have used the username variable here now my first case and the second case is if someone write India and the France right if someone write India and France it should print it should uh, call an alert which would say take me also okay so if the user write India or France in the prompt it will run this code and after that we have used break that means only this portion of code will execute not the other portion in the same way if the user write Japan and Philippines it will write this code which will alert great have fun and if it right if the user write North Korea it will print or it will alert this message which is oh god oh good luck sorry now if the user do not write any of the above countries it will alert I am sure you will have a great time okay so this is our default message so in this way we can use our switch statement I, I think you should go and practice switch statement and it's very simple okay you can apply any condition with the help of it I hope you all like this video right 
please comment on it and please let us know your opinion thank you very much thank you